Well, after months of debate and negotiation, Congress voted today to approve a massive farm bill that will provide more than $400 billion for agriculture subsidies, conservation programs, and food aid. The House voted 369 to 47 for the legislation, which, set, which sets federal agricultural and food policy for five years after the Senate approved it 87-13 on Tuesday. It's now headed to the desk of President Donald Trump, who is expected to sign it. The measure reauthorizes crop insurance and conservation programs and pays for trade programs, bioenergy production, and organic farming research. It also reduces the cost for struggling dairy producers to sign up for support programs and legalizes the cultivation of industrial hemp. Minnesota District 7 Congressman and House Agriculture Committee Ranking Member Colin Peterson praised the bill today, saying that it is an improvement for dairy farmers because it provides expanded affordable coverage options and more flexibility for them. One thing the bill doesn't include is tighter work requirements for food stamp recipients. That's a provision of the House bill that was celebrated by President Donald Trump, but became a major sticking point in negotiations. Another contentious piece of the House's original legislation, relaxing restrictions on pesticide use, also did not make it into the final text. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.